Good morning everybody, it's Ms. D with A Unique Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. I am here today with a, another piece and this is from Marley's Memories. The Marley's Memories collection is going to be more true to vintage as far as muted colors, not shabby chic so much. Um, but you'll see and you can judge for yourself. I'm trying to define the difference here. All right, so this, I just added this so it would kind of keep it shut because it's kind of thick. And this is a altered file folder. And we're going to go ahead and remove that. And here you'll see I put these pretty little um, pieces here. Um, these two are separate. And then this is one whole piece. I just love this. Um, this is so, so, so pretty. And, you know, this is layered pieces of fabric and lace and um, appliques. It's just gorgeous. And then I thought this was really cool because this is one piece um, here and I did the front and back so that these little pieces would stand up on the edge because I really like that. And I just folded it over so these would pop up. And then in here you will see I made some ephemera and this is a reversible file folder, so you'll see why in a minute. And you can flip her up and write. There's several papers here. It's a pad. I made a pad out of tea dyed paper. And she goes back in here. And then over here, I just wrote Martha. So this is obviously going to be called Martha. And. And here, the idea was to have something, um, vintage photos of maybe her and her when she was a child or her and her daughter. Oh, let me get back into frame. Sorry about that. And these are those Tim Holtz cards. This one, though, I backed and put a, um, a very faded... I forgot the name of those records. I want to say xylophone, but I don't think I'm correct. And then I'll put this over this way. And here is a little bit more of them. It's very tightly in here. And this is um, a piece of vintage fabric lace. I thought that was really pretty. And this I used, actually, I made this out of one of those paint cards from Home Depot that was sent to me. And I took it and used scissors on the bottom, decorative scissors on the bottom, and then another set on top. And I sewed straight down this way to hold it to make it tuck. And then I went ahead and put some paper in here. So that'd be cute, like sitting on a desk. I would, and when I was working still, I would take this to work and sit it on my desk and pull it out. Put a little pad of paper in there, sticky notes. That'd be kind of neat, huh? And then this just has an extra pocket and I brought some more of that down here. And then these, I, I stitched little pieces here. I didn't go straight down. I just stitched little pieces to make the pocket. And if you choose, you can actually open this all the way up. And I believe this is vintage too. This is this is not, but this is. I got this from a box that was handed down from generations of generations from a cell that my husband was at. So that is that side, okay? And then you flip it over and you have this side. And on this side, I made this flower. It's the first one I made, so it's my first one <laughs> and I layered of course some pieces of lace you have the trim here and then you have the trim going across the top and then there's a whole piece behind it and then when you open this up this is an envelope and this is full of goodies for whoever purchases this so I don't want to show it all but there are vintage pieces in here and some ephemera and so that's a surprise for somebody and in here is a tuck in the front. I'm sorry, but I took my nails off. And since I took my nails off, I have a hard time grabbing things. And these are, I think that one there. Let me pull out. 
color that's in here. And these are just little pieces of paper folded over to make some envelopes. These can stick out here this way. And then here is a, it just says message, number, date. And this just goes on top with that sticking out. And then there's another vintage picture. This one came from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And this is from the Symphony Collection. And it's really cream and black. And I just inked it up enough to make it a different color. And then this has, it's another journal for writing in or taking notes. And I've just done some stenciling and stamping throughout it. And you see it here. But it's really made to be written on. I did some different level pages here. So I've seen that. I think Yvonne Preston did this in one of her journals. I thought it was so neat. And this will have a tag in it. So I don't know why I didn't put that in there. But this is a pocket and it will have a tag. And then that's a little typewriter, vintage typewriter. And then here's a pocket with a tag and some more stenciling. Some more stenciling. And then this is just a piece of paper folded up. Um, it's just one large regular size paper that was... Uh, and then the nice thing about this paper though is it does have this piece on the back. And then you can write on this side. And I just put that under there. This is an altered paper clip. Paper clip. I love doing altered paper clips. I remember when I first started into this, all I did was ephemera. I didn't make any journals, I didn't make anything. And I have this bucket of altered paper clips that I made. I love it. I love making them. And here's one of them. I just threw this on this one underneath because I just thought that was really nice, a piece of vintage here. And this is um, muted colors, as you see, is there's nothing bright here, and there's some old buttons up here. Um, but you can actually cut this off if you don't like it, but I thought it was pretty neat there. And here's some more stenciling, and then here's the back. And this, is, this would be like the back of a book. And then you close it, and you've got this side again. So I hope you enjoyed this. This will be in my store at auniquetreasure.shop. And if not, if you're not interested in shopping, I hope I inspired you. So please subscribe, like, and share. And make sure that you ring that bell so that you get notifications because I am on a roll and I hope to inspire everybody. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.